After a dramatic night of protests in professional sports, our local sports teams say they're coming together to fight social injustice. This was all sparked by a last weekend shooting of 29-year-old Jacob Blake by police officers in Kenosha, Wisconsin. It has brought protests there and around the country and is also behind last month's player board, last night's rather, player boycott of games in the NBA, the WNBA, and Major League Baseball. The Browns, Indians, and Cavs today made a call for action, and we have team coverage tonight. We begin with Jimmy Donovan in Berea. Jimmy, good evening. Good evening, Russ. This is really something. I really do uh, credit all of the franchises in Cleveland to come together for this. It's an alliance of the Indians, the Cavaliers, and the Browns. It's an alliance, and the makeup is really everybody within those three organizations to help in Northeast Ohio make things better social justice rather than injustice and the organizations want to come together the front offices the coaching staffs and of course the rosters of all these teams to really take step number one and improve the relationship between law enforcement and the neighborhoods and that's a mighty big step now here in Berea today the Browns took a first step they only practiced on the field for an hour and then for the next hour they went inside and broke up into small meeting groups to talk about hey let's just not talk about this Let's come up with specific ways to help. And they were led by Miles Garrett. I believe it's our, our privilege as athletes to go out there and play in front of millions and, and have this platform. But I believe it's our responsibility as human beings to, to go out there and do our best for the people around us. And uh, when I say do our best, I mean you know, taking care of our community. So the Browns had a 60-minute practice on the field. And, Russ, I will tell you this. Practice time on the field for any team, specifically this team in training camp, is precious. For the, so for them to give up the next hour and go inside and talk about what they want to do specifically to help the neighborhoods, law enforcement, and that relationship in Northeast Ohio, that's a good first step. That says a lot. It certainly does. All right, Jimmy, we'll see you later in sports. Thank you.